지금 다운로드 받으세요. Don't really have to yeah. say much more. Be proud of yourselves. Yeah. It's a very brave thing you've done today. This is a lot of StarCraft. Been following us from dusk to dawn. Or from dusk dawn. towers to <laughs> ruins of Endion. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Endidon. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. That, yeah. Well, guys, we're about to jump into Arena to make things even more wacky over here. Deer versus Jockty. And, uh, yeah, Jockty's still only taking that one win against Beyond. Yeah, kind of uh, wild that he didn't pick that up. Can he win on this map? This was his choice of a map as well. Now, this is actually Deer's home map. But it was it was Jockey's home map against Deer as well, so. Yeah. And the last time, Deer just made a pylon and overcharged it and won. Yeah, he rallied in an Oracle and the game ended. It was yeah. really, really one-sided. This time, I guarantee you, Jockey is not going to let that happen. Just for his own pride's sake, right? Yeah. He knows the high likelihood of Deer going for that kind of build. And I think he's going to do everything in his power to shut it down. Will Deer do it? We'll have to wait and see. Let's jump into the game right now. Game number 24 on Arena. Well, here we are on Arena once again, two times in a row. And up in the top left, it's Deer from Samsung Galaxy Kong. Good friend of Beyond. <laughs> yeah, it seems that way. <laughs> and down the bottom left, it is Jockji. Not having the best day today. Hopefully he can bring it back in the future. Yeah. What a tough spot for him. He's on such a fantastic team. Oh, look at that. He actually walls immediately with the depot. I like that. Yep, he's not having like any that. of that. Oh, is he going to make a Rax and float it over? For his little Reaper Reaper? There you go. Yeah. Well, it could actually be like a some sort of Marauder push or something. Or you know what this actually could be is three racks. Yes. Marine. Three racks. Marine SCV all in. <laughs> well, when you're on your last legs and you want to deny Deer, a guy who beat you before, a win, why not go for something like this? Yeah. This and this build can catch people off guard. Like if you just play a very standard game as Protoss, there's a good chance you'll die to it. Looks like Deer is not expanding, so it's going to be less likely that he gets killed, but it's still, yeah, like... Still a tech build. This can catch you, man, absolutely. And based on what we've seen from Deer, he's not going to skip the Mothership Core. Uh, it's been his favorite unit so far in this, in this yeah. entire uh, group. So definitely going to help out in the defense. Uh, does not go for a scout at all, and... I mean, that makes sense. You're probably going to be blocked by the depot anyway. Hmm. So, That's a good point. Uh, just teching up. Yeah, he's going to that Zealot again. I think he's going for the same rush. But again, this, oh. this could end up working. Okay, he cancels the Zealot then. All right. There you go. Mothership Core into Stargate. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, on the other side, as we expected, just three racks Marine. Uh, looks like he floated one and didn't float the other one. So, one is going to be closer, the other one he has to walk around. It was the later one that he built. He just wanted to get production up and running. Yeah, that could be, because he has to rally from his main anyways, so... Yeah. Okay. I, so. Thought, I thought he would do it the other way, but that's okay. Uh, a lot of Marines now. Does he pull SCVs? I would imagine he's going to. And yeah, he's definitely going to. He's 20 bay. out of 16, 100% he has to pull SCVs. And he's actually getting an eBay to block the uh, Oracle he knows is coming. This is kind of crazy. Yeah. So Deer definitely not going to hold this Nexus. No pylon down here. Just He's just going to use it to delay. And Jockji identifies that. He's going to come up oh the ramp now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jockji throwing some wrenches into this group right now. <laughs> oh, the Mothership Core. Oh! Okay. Okay. He gets a... That would have been crazy, though, if he got the Mothership oh, Core. Yeah. That would have been, like, game right there. This rush isn't over, though. No, it's He's going to have not. one more overcharge by the time he... Uh, this other one finishes. Okay, the Oracle's going across. It's going to be met by a turret, right? I believe there's a turret down there. Yeah, he's got one turret. One turret in the mineral line oh is going to help God. out. 
That's so good right now for Jokchi. He's really out mind game deer completely here. Yeah, and look at this. There's no more energy. There's no defense. Oh my gosh, Jokchi. What is going on? Dude, we were talking about this. The pressure is off, and Jokchi's starting to wreck nerds. He's just going for these crazy builds. The Oracle comes back. It gets immediately focused down. And Deer has just lost too much. Another he has Oracle lost does 13 come out. 13 SCVs right now. The Oracle will be able to clean these up, but he could pull up Marines and try to go again. Yeah. Two and adepts on the way. He might, like with Oracle still coming as well, this game actually could just continue. Yeah, I thought it was over, but it seems perhaps not. And Jogti is actually expanding. I think he's identified that he can't really kill Deer at this point either. Gonna just try to use his lead. And that's pretty smart. He wants to win the game. He's not just gonna throw it away. Yeah. He can continue to pressure bit with the Marines. Make a turret over here so you don't take damage at your natural. Mm -hmm. You don't want those oracles to, to come in and do anything. Oh, he walks up the ramp and gets a mothership core. There's still no pylon here. He's still reeling from the the attack. He's mm. he's got enough supply, so he doesn't want to make a pylon. He wants, wants yeah. to make units. He has, he has like no economy right now. This is really tough for him. He's just got like two oracles pros. and a couple of depths. It's yeah. Mm. And you can see that Jaxi is just pulling it up now. He's even making more racks for more Marines. Now it's two oh base, five God. racks Marine. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Okay, that's a smart move. If he runs his entire Marine force in. Oh, there you go. Well, if he I just mean, keeps delay rallying it, right? up, is he going to... Oh, this is so smart. This is so smart. He's chasing down whatever he can get right now. That depot but should stop it. Yeah. He's going to get these Marines, but then the Adepts are going to be trapped, so... I mean, better make another stasis ward right there. <laughs> <laughs> this is, it seems like a good idea. Oh, I guess he could just shade out. Yeah. I'm uh, going on hour number eight, guys. Yeah, yeah, it's a long day. It's okay. So actually, Everything that was you say really is move. wrong and dumb at this point. It's, it's all good. So that's a lot of adepts now, and I think that yeah. can just straight up fight. Like, Doxy's trying to take this fight, but especially with the oracles in here. Nice snipe there, actually, on the one week oracle. Are trying to shade maybe on top of these Marines? Uh, I think he'll probably skip it this time. Well, oh. Those Protoxes always do that where they like line it up. They're like, I'm going for it. Yeah. And they never do it. Really make you scared. What so, a strange game. Yeah, the game is kind of normalizing. Like, definitely Deer is in a deficit. He's down a good uh, 10 workers. Chachi has a hell of a lot of Marines, but he doesn't have any tech to back it up. <laughs> he has five workers on gas. Got it. Okay, there he goes. And this Oracle's still trying to find some damage. There's a turret, but you can pick up some SCVs on the side. Do a bit of scouting, too. Hmm. We've kind of normalized here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is such a weird game. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, I feel like Joxy should have just won, but Deer really held on quite well. Um, just making those adepts, the Oracle coming back, mm -hmm. and pulling just enough probes to survive. Yeah, and, like, he just had enough probes that it was, like, reasonable to continue on, you know, with the two Nexus. Glaive's on the way, not surprised. Probably feels like as Jokchi gets into Metavax, this is going to be unstoppable. He's just like nowhere near any splash damage or anything like that. His production is not high. You need three bases uh, with gateway production really to hold a dedicated two base Terran attack. So doesn't have that. I like this. It's it's a good follow up. Look at Jokchi building three bunkers. He's like, I know you're going for something on two base. I don't know exactly what it is, but I'm going to be prepared. And you already have a lot of adepts, so bunker's going to be quite nice against that if you try to shade in on top of three bunkers. Not going to work out. Yeah, bunkers don't care if you shade in or not. They're not scared. They're so building that wall up. Yeah, he, look at that. He sees everything that's here. This is way too well defended. I love that he's putting up some turrets as well right now. Deer going to remake that mothership core a little bit later on. Yeah. He'll have that. For more overcharges, more defense. As medevacs begin to come out, he can go for drops too, so got to be careful about that kind of thing. Look at this, the Marauders being added in. He's so ready to repair anything. He realizes that this is like very all-in by deer.
Scan going down on the island gold base, as well as right outside his natural. Really wants to spot where Deer is because he, he's got an SCV over at the third base. He knows there's no third Nexus coming down. So All these upgrades finishing up now. Liberators on the way. As far as I know, nothing that Deer has hits Liberators. Look at that. That's a lot of adepts. <laughs> he makes a feeble attempt at hiding this army. <laughs> and now there's four bunkers. And all the SCVs are pulled. Is he going to go for it anyway? No. If he lets his shade finish. <laughs> what am I watching? <laughs> you know what? To be fair, Jokshi's on hour eight as well. Yeah. This is a so long is day. <laughs> yeah. Now like, what do you he do, just Deer? stimmed as the shades went away. Yeah. Well, wow. he just wants to be careful, I suppose. And as Deer, I think you just take a... No, he's, he's, he's going for Phoenixes. Yeah, two Stargate Phoenix. <laughs> no. I was going to wow. say you go for a third base, and it looks like he is going to go for that anyway. One Marine knew it the entire time, dear. Just giving that information back to the home base. Second Starport on the way. This is hilarious that he's going into two Stargate Phoenixes right now. Arena is such a weird map. Yeah. It is so weird. Like, we see the games on here you would never see anywhere else. This is why people like this map, you know? Yeah. It's it's non-standard. It's goofy. It makes for crazy games, though. Just like this. This Marine is still alive. <laughs> wow. Okay, there it goes. He did his job. Yeah, he did a lot of work over there. Good on him. We had a second starport made, actually, by Jog He really mm -hmm. wants to control the skies make medevacs and liberators at the same time. No way he's going to get Okay. I'm always in disbelief that they even let it last <laughs> that long. I'm like, isn't there better things you could be doing than trying to scare your opponent? Well, sometimes, you know, they, they stim by accident. <laughs> yeah, that's true. As we saw. Every now and then you get that value play. Well, this is going to be taken out here and Jock G not going to take out those rocks just yet. Oh, as I say that, he goes to take out the rocks. And wow, mass liberator production now on the cards. He's already got a decent amount. He's got four, but now four at a time, and he can really put on the harass. There's already phoenixes out on the map, so uh, not going to do well for harass. But that is a lot of phoenixes. Yeah, here. as long as they're with the main army, the liberators will be able to do their job. All right, he's going to shade on top this time. Yeah, there actually, he goes. This is a shade with half of them there. That's actually a kind of a big deal. Phoenixes fly over everything, trying to target down everything, but the Marines are dealing way too much damage way too quickly. And there you go. Jockty's going to take another win and take one from Deer. GG. Oh, boy. This is getting really interesting Dude. now. Jockty is putting a gigantic wrench right into the heart of this group. It re he really is. Like... This is something that Impact and uh, Rogue needed to have happen. Yeah, Rogue and is jumping up and down in his chair right now. He's like, yeah, dude, I got a chance. Jokshi has an away win. Whoa, he got Jokshi an away win. has an away win. I have to mark that down. He's got two wins right now. Uh, you know, he's still in last place, but there's two players with three wins. Rogue actually has four wins. Rogue right now is in third place. Technically. Yeah, I mean, he, he's played a couple extra games over he, yeah, Impact. Yeah, that's why. So, like, yeah. Probably why. We don't know yet. Oh, my God. We're all in oh disbelief and just, you know, kind of floating through space right now. So that was game number 24. We're probably going to have to play all these games out just the way this, game, this yeah. group is going. It's like one of these ones where we're not so sure until we played every single game. And even then, there could be a tiebreaker. But, guys, we're going to take a quick five-minute break first. We'll be right back. There ain't nobody here